Let's get to the Middle East, because earlier this morning, two oil tankers were attacked in the Gulf of Oman, uh, the, uh, very close to where four other vessels were attacked just last month. Yeah. Actually, it's just off the coast of Iran. That's where the attack mm -hmm. took place. Senator Tom Tillis, Republican, North Carolina, joining us now. Mr. Senator, if Iran should be found to be responsible for these attacks, I'm not saying they are, but if they were responsible, what should we do about it? Well, we've got to first confirm that, and I think that we're already actively working on it. And then there has to be a consequence, whether it's economic sanctions or other actions. That's something I trust the president will pursue. Um, well, I'm looking at the picture on the screen now, but I don't think you can see it. But it's an oil tanker with a major fire right in the middle of it. That's one of the tankers that were attacked. I put it to you, Senator, if this had happened, say, 10 years ago or even five years ago, the price of oil would have spiked. But That's now, right. since we have a glut of oil, because we're produce, America's producing so much of it, the price of oil is only up, what, a buck sixty? That's it. Thank goodness for energy independence, right? That's exactly right. Now that we're the energy superpower, it gives us a tool, a non-lethal weapon, which is very, very powerful. And I'm very proud of this administration advancing responsible extraction of natural gas and crude oil because it's a very, very important economic and strategic military weapon. Uh, I do want to get your take on something that the president said early this morning. Uh, it, it actually was released early this morning. It was an interview with ABC. Uh, for the benefit of our viewers, roll tape, please. If foreigners, if Russia, if China, if someone else offers you information on an opponent, should they accept it or should they call the FBI? I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. You want that kind of interference in our elections? It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI. If I thought there was something wrong. Now, the political world is on fire with this. What's your take on what the president said, Mr. Senator? Look, the, uh, the Democrats are complaining about something the president said, and they haven't said a word about something that Hillary, what Hillary Clinton did. Hillary Clinton paid a former foreign agent to reach out to other governments to try and find dirt on then Donald Trump, the candidate. That information was proven false, but that, I mean, the, let, let's have a discussion about that first. The president said, and what has been conveniently left out from most media outlets, but yours, Stuart, is that he also said, of course, he'd probably contact the authorities. But if it's material information that speaks to the credibility of a candidate, then I, I think that you need to examine that. But you always have to be mindful of the fact that Russia, Iran, China are looking for ways to meddle in our elections. So, of course, the authorities should look at it as well. Yeah, and check the source. Senator Tom right. Tillis, thank you very much for joining us, sir, on a busy day. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, the Stanley Cup. Why don't we go?